Isn't it? And therefore, Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, Behold, behold, I give you power. I give you power or authority. He says to trample on serpent and scorpions and upon every power of the enemy. He said nothing shall by any means. Nothing. Say nothing. nothing. What is the meaning of nothing? <laughs> Does nothing means nothing? I thought that nothing means everything. Praise the Lord. Nothing means what? And Jesus said, the power I give unto you, the authority I give unto you, you shall tread upon serpent, upon scorpions, and upon, upon what? Upon what? All the, so then nothing is not nothing. Is it not true? It means that nothing is everything that belongs to the power of the enemy, isn't it? Looking at the Bible. Come on. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give you the authority or the power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So nothing means everything that's from the devil, isn't it? Nothing means that everything that the devil has in his domain is powerless. 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 Say powerless. Does that include sickness? Does that include disease? Does that include poverty? Does that include stagnation? And Jesus said, the power I give unto you, it will make you a champion. It will make you a winner. You will step over all the traps of the enemy. You will step over them. And Jesus went on to tell us in John chapter 7. He said, if anyone tests, let him come from me. Let him come to me and drink. Anyone that tests, let him come to me and drink the water of life. As if that is not enough, you can open to John chapter 7. Verse 37. John chapter 7, verse 37. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood out and cried out, saying, If anyone tests, let him come to me and drink. We are in the last days. We are in the great days of the worldly feasts. And Jesus is saying, if anyone tests, if anyone tests, let him come. Let him come to me and drink. Verse 38. He who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly or out of his heart, we flow rivers of living water. Shout hallelujah. Out of your belly, out of your heart, shall flow, shall flow, shall flow, shall flow, shall flow, shall flow rivers of living water. One of the major, one of the most dangerous things to deal with is flood. Are you hearing me? Flood is difficult to deal with. It's difficult to manage. You know why? It can wash away anything. It can wash away everything. Very soon we'll be in the rainy season again. And there are some countries already in the rainy season. You see on news, just water will carry three stories that man spent years to build. Amen. Just water will wash away. Car. The car that you said is so fast. Lo and behold, the flood is faster than it. Amen. Amen. God is truly amazing. But if you look at the flood in the physical, you can fear. But what happens when you generate a flood on the inside? What happens when you 
develop, you build up. You build up flood on the inside. He says, out of your heart, it shall flow like a river. It flows like a river. What does it do? What does it do? It washes away. It cleanses. Praise the Lord. Everything. Everything that corrupts. Everything that pollutes. Everything that is not planted by God. You see that flood can carry a tree, no matter how big. Uproot it from one location and throw it away in another location. Praise the Lord. And Jesus said, anyone that believes in me, there will be such a flood in you. You can stir up such flood in you. Where there can be an uprooting of what God has not planted. There can be a rooting out of what is not of God. There can be a cleansing like a mighty rushing wind inside you. Liberty and dominion. Liberty and what? The problem is not that there is something that is attacking you. The problem is not that you have a growth on your body. The problem is that you empower that growth when you can disable it. And Jesus said, nothing shall by any means. What does any means mean? Nothing shall by any means. What does that mean? Does it include the physical and the spiritual? And then our enemies only exist in two realms, either physical or spiritual. And Jesus said, nothing shall by any means. But Jesus said first, if you want to be in that level, if you want to function in that realm, those that are thirsty, come to me. Come and drink from me. You know why? If you are going to disable the enemy, make sure you are connected to the ocean. If you are going to wash away all the junk of the enemy, make sure you are properly connected with the pipe of the Holy Ghost. Make sure. Praise the Lord. I just remember the story of Lester Samra, the late Lester Samra that went to the Philippines to preach. And then he went to have a crusade. And then he checked into his hotel room. And then in the night, when he was asleep, he heard the noise. <laughs> Something moved his bed from where it was in the room and brought it to the middle of the room and woke him up. And then as he woke up, the windows and everything were open. And there was a boisterous wind. He looked, looked, looked. He said, you devil, how dare you? Come back here. I said, come back here. He said, now carry the bed. Put it back where it was. I said, take it. The bed moved. <laughs> Went back to the exactly position where the devil carried it from. And they said, get out of this room. And the devil went out. He said, come back. He said, when you go, close the windows as it was before. Now, get out. The devil went out and all the windows, pop, closed. He went back to sleep. What would you do if it was you? What would you do? <laughs> you will ask for a new room. Or even check out of that hotel that night. <laughs> out of your belly. Say out of my heart. Out of my heart. Shall flow. Rivers. Of living water. Do you see why it is dangerous. For offense to flow out of your heart. Do you see why it is dangerous for bitterness to flow out of your heart? Do you see why it is, it is difficult for anger to have residence in your heart? Because the only thing that can close the pipe of the spirit from flowing is offense and bitterness, unforgiveness. Praise the Lord. What do you want? Jesus cried out, if anybody tests, 
Too many people are praying for the gift of the Holy Spirit when they can just go to God and stir their heart up and say, Lord, Lord, fill me with your spirit because I have decided to serve you and I cannot do it by myself. I cannot do it by my own. Give me your spirit. Nobody in the New Testament was able to do it without the Holy Spirit. Even in the Old Testament, the Spirit of God came upon them to execute the will of God. And so we will not be able to do it on our own. We can do it. Amen. Amen. Blessed are those that hunger and test after righteousness. You test for it, for they shall be filled. For they shall be filled. How can you say that you are hungry for the things of God and yet you don't have time to study, to pray, to meditate, to fellowship? How can you? How can you? Jesus said in John chapter 4, he said, my food is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Jesus said, my food, my food is to do the will of God and to finish his work. How many of us feed on that? How many? He that believes in me, out of his heart shall flow rivers. Praise the Lord. It shall flow rivers of living water. And so what comes out of you gives life to the hearers. Living water, not dead water. Not polluted water. When you speak and people hear you, they glorify the name of the Lord. When people hear you, they give thanks. Do you know what it means for somebody to sit and listen to you and the person go home rejoicing? Many, many, many years ago, one of my cousins came to see me and uh, he had some issues. And so as he came and spoke to me, then I gave him what I could give to him. And I spoke to him about the problems he was having, about how to go about it. And he left. So later on, I heard that he was telling some of our family relatives that he went to see me. And that it wasn't the money that I gave him that helped him. He said, but it was the things I said to him. I didn't know. He said, it wasn't the money that helped him. But it was the things I said to him. You know why? The money will finish. But the word will remain. The money will remain. Sorry, the money will finish, but the word will remain. Praise the Lord. That is why Moses said to us, the word is our life. You can receive the gift of miracle the gift of tongues, the gift of faith. But it's called a gift. One day, it will pass away. One day, it will come to an end. Papa Hagen shared a testimony. He said when he's ministering, he said sometimes the, the Holy Spirit will just show up for healing. The healing anointing will be made manifest. He said there will be people lining up, queuing for him to touch them. He said, as the Holy Spirit comes, he said he will run quickly. As many as he can touch, touching them, because that's the fastest way, by the Spirit, with the operation of the gift. He said, but somehow, along the line, the Holy Ghost, that anointing can just lift. Because no man dictates, no man controls the gift of the Spirit. It is called the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says he gives to every man as he wills, not as you will. And then Papa Higgins said, from where the spirit stops, he will go back to the word and continue healing. Because the word will always stay with us. Praise the Lord. The word will always stay with us. We may want the microwave solution. Pastor, just touch me. Let the anointing come. Let me get here. Pastor does not control the anointing. 
No man of God controls the gift of the Spirit. It is as the Spirit wills. And you don't know when he will will. But you know what? You can will by the words to do wonders. If any man is thirsty, let him come and drink. Praise the Lord. Out of your belly, out of your heart, shall flow, shall flow rivers. What has been flowing from your heart? Liberty and dominion without power is frustration. You can't exercise it. You can't operate it. Praise the Lord. Let us stand on our feet. Out of your belly, out of your heart, shall flow. This evening, you are about to pray. Lord, I open the fountain of the deep of my heart. I pray that the spirit of God will flow like a river from me. Not only in me, but touching those around me. That people will drink life from me. That people will drink life through me. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, right now, anything in me that does not glorify God, right now, any tree that's not planted by God in me, I pray that the flood of the Spirit will wash it away, will uproot it. Anything in me, anything around me that is not of God, as it is written, out of my heart shall flow rivers, rivers, rivers of living water, any form of sickness any form of disease any form of affliction any form of attack i up, i topple up the top of the living water i unlock i unlock the rivers of living water in my heart let there be a flow let there be a flow let there be a flow a flow of healing a flow of grace a flow of mercy let there be a flow right now no sickness no disease no infirmity in my body my body is a temple of the Holy Ghost I take back I take back this body to do the work of the Lord Lord fill this temple with your glory Lord fill this temple with your glory whatsoever that is not good whatsoever that is not perfect in this temple you cannot stay you cannot stay you cannot stay I open the fountain of living water right from my heart right in my heart let there be a flow let there be a washing away let there be a a cleansing let there be a cleansing from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet let there be a cleansing i am born of god i am a carrier of divinity i lift up my voice my father my god i am connected in him i live in him i move in him i have my being therefore whatsoever that is not of god you have no place in my body No place, no place, no place, no place, no place for sickness, no place for disease, no place for infirmity. I release the word of God to you. I release the power of God to you. I command the fountain of the Holy Spirit to be open in your heart. I lose that fountain of the spring of life in you. Let there be a flow. Let there be a flow right now. My Father and my God. Lord, we lift up our voice. <laughs> we pray, Lord. We pray, Lord, that your will be done. Your will be done. 
you are will be done in our lives you are will be done in your church you are will be done oh god in our family in the name of jesus christ let your will lord let your will lord let your will be done in our family right now I pray for the healing of God's people. I pray for the deliverance of God's people. I pray for a turn around by the Spirit. I pray a turn around by the Spirit. I pray for a turn around by the Spirit. I pray for the cleansing, the cleansing of your heart, the cleansing of your body. Man libra sante ya bale, brasuta ya bale, rekrabose te ye bala, rabrati mande man. Libro so takaya, Ilebayan de Cade, Irabra so tecate, Ilebayan de Catelebro so takaya, Ilepo so tamande, Irebra ye ketone brasan da kaya, Irepacan de prosutaya, Lebacan de brasse, Iraba lecate, prosutayamande, Irabra cote ye bala, Iraba ye, Maniketo, Rabra san da kata, Ilebaya kakato, Irebo sundaya, Malibro so takaya. Ele baya blaketo le boroso ndekede ira baya kakato ele boroso tayamande badiketo la basande kede ele brase tekeye baya kande balekete le borosa taya balekete le bagado mali brande kede la baye le baye baye keto la basanda kaya ele bosuta kaya ele baye kekete la baya kanda balekete basuta ya le baya Balekete, balekekeke, rabaya bagado, balakande le baga. A flow of living water. A flow, a flow. You are a life giver. You are a life giver. You are a life giver. Out of your heart, out of your heart, you are a carrier of life. You are a carrier of divinity. Bande ke tole broso takaya le ba ya kande ke to brase te gede rika ba ka to brande gede li ya brose te ye ba le ke te le ba ga ya mali broso te ke te ra bra ku ta mande le ba ye ra ba ka to brase te ye le bo yunda mane ke to brasa ra bra ke te le ra ba ye ke ke te le broso ta kande ke de. In Jesus mighty name her prayer. Lift up your right hand before heaven. And make a declaration from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am a carrier. A distributor. Of life. Living water. Life giver. From today. I am a distributor. I am a carrier of divinity of divinity in the name of jesus christ there will be no deadness in me around me no deadness in the name of jesus christ i paralyze i paralyze i disable sicknesses diseases symptoms affliction in this body in this body i am the temple i am the dwelling place of the holy ghost of the holy ghost no one else we dwell in this temple in this body only the holy ghost we have the residence in we have the presidency. We have the last word concerning my body. Concerning my body. Rivers of living water flows through this body. Flow to this vessel. From this day forward. From this day forward. Every tree. 
that my heavenly father has not planted in this vessel it will be uprooted it will be washed away by the rivers by the rivers of living water so shall it be from this day forward liberty dominion in this vessel in my body liberty dominion from this day in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ shout a big hallelujah and so shall it be and so shall it be and so shall it be in the name of jesus christ nobody prays like this concerning your body daily we get sick nobody is the devil not afraid are you hearing me we don't just have liberty and dominion we have power to disconnect whatever we don't like praise the lord you may have been connected to what is junky but in christ you have power to disconnect praise the lord may you receive that grace in jesus mighty name may you receive that grace in jesus mighty name and so shall it be and so shall it be in jesus precious name